nothing compares to this. A race around the center of Paris, the Eiffel Tower on one side, Hotel d'Anvalide on the other, and the Seine flowing through the middle. So we just finished our really nice Parisian tour with my Formula E car. So it was uh, an amazing experience, you know, to drive in the, in the street of Paris, something I will never forget. This is one of our two home races. So the main thing for us is to put on a great show for everybody at DS and bring home some valuable points for the manufacturer's title. Where is Vern? Here he is now. What can he do as he comes across the line here? It is quickest. Come on, here. Bird almost four tenths of a second up on Jean Eric Bird. Across the line he comes, a 101.514. That's how it's done. Across the line goes Vern, it's second, but only <laughs> half a tenth of a second slower than Lucas de Grassi. Really impressive final sector from Jean Eric Bird. Sam Bird through the final corner, Ooh, slides it out and takes pole. Sam, pole position, fantastic, mate, fantastic. Brilliant. Three tenths. You did it by three tenths. Third one of the year. Very happy. Great for DS Automobiles to have two cars in the top three. Amazing job by the team. So it's going to make for a great race, I think. I made a, a little mistake that cost me time, uh, but I'm not worried. I'm quick around here, so I will definitely give it all. You can count on me. All five lights are on, and we're green in Paris. Here comes Degrassi, surely to take the lead of the race into the right-hander of Turn 1, and all Fern just about getting it stopped. Oh, goodness me, that is bold stuff around the outside of two. His nose to tail between the two DS Virgin cars. And here we go, Fern and Bird going side by side, and we're on board with Bird looking to the outside of Fern, but he needs to watch his mirrors too because those Renners are coming. Oh, here's the move. Oh, on the inside goes Bird and the two DS Virgin guys hit each other. <laughs> and Bird holds on on the inside. And that has allowed Sebastian Buemi to join the party. In comes Bird sideways. And then in comes Bird. Goodness me. This is going to be a race in the pit stops now. Oh, this is going to be so tight. This is going to be beyond. This is going to be. Oh, Look at them as no one yeah. into the garage there. The release is going to be more interesting than the getting into the garage itself, I would say. So Degrassi is the man leading this E3. Then it was Vern Bird, Buemi Prost, Sarazan Franks, De Costa, the top eight. That was the order as they came in. Wow, incredibly tight. The order remains unchanged somehow. That was really good, Sam. That was a 1.20. We're 0.11 ahead. Second is John eric Vern in the DS Virgin car, chased by that man, Sam Bird. This is the battle over third place. Bird in front has got good straight line speed, though. Buemi can't get close enough, and Bird covers the inside line. Super late on the brakes, locks oh, up, no. goes straight on. Through goes Buemi. Bird very cunningly spins it back around and gets going, but Buemi is through. Mars in the wall, and that could bring out a safety car and could end the race. So that means Lucas Degrassi is effectively the winner of the E Prix. Great to have Jean Eric Verne as a Parisian on the podium. That is a nice story. It's, it's good to be back on the podium. I wish I had uh, I had a shot at the end. Uh, if the safety car would have come out, I had a fan boost. Thanks for the fun for this. Uh, I could have made a, a good use of it, but I think you know to, to make the first podium of the season here in Paris is, is a good thing. Stop, 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 stop,